How long we've known each other, Ken? I ever break a promise to you? I will put you in the driver's seat at Le Mans. If you just shut your mouth and let me do my thing. All right. Come here. Morning, Shelby. Morning, Molly. Up yours. I'll go to hell. Hi, Matt. I have to say, say the first thing I thought of when I saw this film was some of the great classic movies like the Steve McQuins and the Paul Newman. It seems to be almost like a genre of film that we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, I think they're, they're uh, I was talking to Jim Mangold about it. I think they're very challenging movies to make. And so that's why, you know, race car movies come out about once every 10 years or so. Um, uh, you know, it, but yeah, it does. It did feel like a throwback and it felt like a throwback for us making it just because as we were talking about before the nature of movies changing so much it, it, it felt like we were making you know this is like this is how we used to make movies back when we had you know characters and stories and you know um, so it did feel a little bit like a throwback. Tell us about Carol Shelby I mean he's a legend in in the car industry but for people that don't know who he is. Well, he was a he was a uh, a race car driver who had a heart condition that precluded him from driving anymore, and he he became the kind of preeminent car designer uh, here in America. And uh, and one of the ways that he kind of made that uh, shift was was by designing this this car to that uh, for Ford that would win the uh, the Le Mans 24 hour race. And so that's what this movie kind of covers that uh, the year of 1966 when he and uh, and and a group of engineers including Ken Miles who was his best driver um, uh, put this car together and, and went to take on Enzo Ferrari. What was it like to uh, work with Christian Bale because you know he you hadn't worked with him before and you were talking a little bit about his process like he had just done Dick Cheney before yeah. this so he had to go through quite a transformation. Yeah, Christian lost 70 pounds, um, or gained 70 pounds to play <laughs> Cheney, but then he lost it. But he had a deadline he had to hit, and it was really, uh, I mean, that's a lot of weight, and especially at our age, to be doing that. And uh, he's just incredibly disciplined. Um, it's really inspiring to see somebody like that. I mean, I've loved his work for a long time. Um, I think all actors do. He's kind of on that short list of people we all really revere who are working today. and. Um, and but his 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 discipline and kind of commitment to what he does is just beautiful to see up close. You've done obviously car stunts before in films, but what was unique about this? I mean, do you really in those cars? I mean, it must have been a little bit scary at times. <laughs> no, well they 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 do a really good job of putting you in. Uh, in they've got these rigs that are that are. Uh, driven by professional drivers, but you can sit in them. So they're they're a car, but they're but you're actually being pulled by somebody who's driving something with you know 600 horsepower, and so they're pulling you all over the place. And so you're you're, I used to call it on the Bourne movies, I'd call it the NAR, the No Acting Required Car, because you just you, all you have to do is just kind of you know spin the steering wheel and pretend you're driving, but you're really having the experience. It's like it's like a great amusement park ride, basically. I think we need to remember in this film too, it's not just about cars for people that aren't into cars. It's also so much about a strong friendship and passion. Yeah, I'm not even a car person myself. That wasn't what uh, drew me to this. It was it was really about the friendship between these uh, guys. I mean, there, there's a lot of, uh, you know, great car stuff for people who are into that, but but no, the movie would, would be a failure if that's all it was. It's, it's, uh, it's really about the dynamic between these guys and, and, uh, and it's an underdog story. And on, on that level, I think it's really relatable. And just lastly, just being here at TIFF, the Toronto International Film Festival, I'm sure you've been here many times before, but what is special about presenting a film here? Well, it's, uh, I've been here, I don't know how many times, I've been here probably 10 or 12 times over the years, and it's just a great festival. It's a, it's, um, usually a really great slate of movies and you start to become aware of the movies that you want to see <laughs> you know that are going to come be released through the fall and then it's also a chance to see a bunch of friends you know a lot of filmmakers and you know we're all texting each other like are you in town wait when's your screening and you know we're all trying to meet up you know uh, and see each other before we get pulled off around the world in different directions but that's what the great thing about these festivals all over the world is uh, you know, it's a chance to uh, kind of confer and, and see and, uh, you know, see filmmakers that are your friends, but also filmmakers who you, who you, who you admire and catch up.